Hey guys, so now it's got time to put the head on and um, what's kind of important about this is is how we, I mean we've already done the head, got it prepped and everything like that, but let me kind of go over a couple bullet points and I'm going to get him to install it. Um, first and foremost, I don't know if you can see this right here or not, but the head's nice and clean and he's taken a little bit of uh, engine starting fluid and basically cleaned up the area that's going to be uh, it's going to be with the gasket. Um, same thing with along with the block. The block's the same identical situation. Um, the head gasket itself is a three ply. It has a stainless steel in the middle. And it has a, a softer pliable type material, and some type of metal. And basically, uh, it, as long as you do it in the right sequence, it's going to sandwich and give you a perfect fit. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So I guess we'll kind of move into that real quick, but um, I'm going to show you a couple little things uh, about how what you need to be looking for before you put this hat on just to make sure that you're kind of in the right direction. I right, put that on pause. Okay guys, so here we are looking at it. We've, we've put, laid the head gasket on it, but I kind of want to touch base on this because if you're doing a project of this magnitude, then you need to make sure you're doing it right. And um, inside the cylinder wall, you'll see the cross hatch. Uh, of what's going on there but you also see some vertical along with the horizontals and those ones going up and down are can be problematic and what I want you to do before you put the head back on is check to make sure there's no grooves right Correct. any kind of scratch in here means you're losing compression so initially we were a little worried about this but when we talked to my guy down at Napa the machine shop guy you always hate to cross those guys because they're always right so we're waiting to see if he'd tell us to do the pistons he said nah man he said, if you don't fill a ridge, don't sweat it. So that's kind of what we did. We're not going to worry about it too much. The other thing that's important, if you look at the second piston right here in this line, you see right there where the gap is at between the wall and the piston? You notice we didn't mess with cleaning the pistons at all. Um, it's too risky to damage that cylinder wall. But uh, at the end, or when we took this off, the first thing we did was soak it in deep creep, which is made by sea foam, and it's a super strength. It's a new synthetic type of penetrating oil that you want to get around your rings because if you have any rust buildup, if you have anything from the, like this sat for how long? We don't know how long it's had to start with. Know, right. But this car, you know, has been sitting, and then of course it's been sitting for three weeks as we were getting parts and blah blah blah. But that sea foam will penetrate that and make it um, and make it nice and pliable and penetrate anything. Keep those piston rings operating like they're God intended them to be. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is just set the head on here. Then we're going to go quickly over what it takes to um, torque it. Torque it. Hey guys, I want to mention too. There's some alignment dowels. You see them? Kind of sticking out. He's got a finger on one and there's one in the back and basically you're gonna set that head up so where it drops down on it be very very careful we don't want to scratch the surface of the bottom of this head under any condition do we Popsy? or dent or dent yeah we wanted this thing to go on nice and smooth two people minimal <laughs> yeah it's two people on this deal look how pretty that one is just throwing that out there um okay so anyway we'll be right back all right, guys, so here we have it sitting on here. As you notice, it's missing a few items. We're, uh, there is no cam on here, there is no lifters, and there's no rocker arms. Just the valves and the, um, the seals. That's it. And the reason is, guys, we're really, we really going to key in to what kind of torque we need, and uh, we want all the range we can get. And the less amount of stuff that's on there, the easier it becomes for us to do that. So just make that note, it's easier to build this thing once it's been installed. Next step is to install the head bolts. Now brand, there's a, go ahead. These are brand new. They're cheap. And don't worry about measuring over the threads with a straight edge to see if it's stretched and all like that. Just replace them. Yeah, you, yeah he's right about that, guys. I see people cutting corners on those all the time. And I would just definitely suggest you not do it. Right. Unless you want to come do it again. Right. So the book says before you torque them and put them in, lightly oil the threads. Let us have a Q-tip, a little oil. He's going to lightly oil. What motor oil does? Lightly oil them. Right. 
don't want them sopping, you just want them lube. And on the other head bolts, the smaller ones. The, the smaller one, ones. They suggest putting a seal on it because the water will leak out of the holes on these because they entered a water jacket. But these come in the kit. Already. Yeah, if you buy them new, they already come with it. Come let's, with it. Let's, let me zero in it. Don't move it for a second. There you go. You can see it's already been treated with it, which is kind of cool for us. Right. And you do not lube these. So I'll continue lubing and we'll be back. So he's going to go lube away. Okay, so we got them torqued. I mean, we don't have them torqued. We just kind of have them snug down. That's the first thing you want to do. And then show them one of those, those four you're putting in right there. And show them where they go. I think your hand on this side's in the way. Because on either side of the water, not this in, yeah, that's a water jacket. And then there's some that go inside or one or two yeah. that goes inside. All right, so what's the next thing? I guess we're going to be torquing. Torquing. Not twerking. Not twerking. Torquing. Popsy, can you twerk it? No, nope, but I can twerk it. He can twerk it, but he can't twerk it. Hey, y'all out there, y'all want to see me twerk it? I can twerk it, baby. No, nah, they don't want me to twerk it. My twerker's broke. Yeah, I, I think I'm lying. I'm not really a twerker. Hey, Popsy, why didn't we ever become rock stars or pop stars? I, I, did we miss that bus? Boat. The boat, boat left sank. us. Boat sank. No one wants, no one wants to hear us sing and put on sexy clothes and run around and dance. Nope. I guess not. I guess you guys are stuck with the, the video of, of the engines. <laughs> All right. So he actually has a um, a pretty long extension. Show him that extension, Popsy. So we got. And what size is that? Ten. Ten. Ten millimeter. He's putting down in that. It just makes it a lot easier if you turn it by hand to kind of get them snugged up. Get them snugged up and, and kind of put a little bit on them just so when you go to torque them, you got something to bite. Yeah, these are only 18 pounds when you finish. Yeah, and at the bottom line of this particular situation is you don't want to take a torque wrench out on a bolt that's completely loose. All right. Just a lot of extra effort. All right, I guess we'll be torquing next. Twerking or twerking? Twerking. Oh, we're going to be twerking. No more twerking. Okay, guys. So now we have to torque this in sequence. And basically, like most everything, you got to start in the center. If it'll actually... I guess it's not really going to get that clear. There we go. You see where the number one, two, then three crosses back over, four, five... All right, so there you go. That's the sequence we're going to be tightening it down, and it's 15 pounds of round. And then there is a sequential order that this has to go in as far as the torque ratings. So the first torque is 15, all of them. Then you reset to 35, retorque all of them in sequence. Then you go to the small 10-millimeter uh, bolts and do them 18. And you cross hatch those, it shows you how to do that also. And then you turn an additional 90 degrees on the head bolts. And then you finish up the small boat bolts at 22 with a cross pattern. Right. And of course, down there goes cylinder head for 2002 and later, but we are definitely up here on the 01. Yes. So, anyway, guys, there it is. So, I guess we'll get busy on it and uh, we'll catch you back up in a second. We got the head on, completely torqued. The next thing to do is to put the plugs in because they need to be torqued and it's easier to do it now than once you get further down the road. And it also keeps stuff from falling in the cylinder head at this point. Uh, these were brand new plugs when we put them in, but since they never really fired, you can see they're black. Um, clean the threads off and with the uh, ether. Just so it gets, because we clean. Well, well, we'll, see, we'll do a video on that in a second, but um, yeah, guys, that was quite fun, I might add. Popsy, of course, in a supervisory position, made sure everything was done correct. Anyway, no sense in crying about a few lost fingers now, <laughs> guys. It's real nice. Uh, how long did it take us, Popsy? Put that head on.
uh, to put it on, put all the bolts in it, and it's 30 minutes. 30 minutes, put it in, have a second person help you. We did take the long stud out of the, uh, out of the head and made it a little easier to access. We also pushed the wire bundle towards the back because you got some give pushing it towards Bungie the back. Bungee corded out of your way. Bungee corded everything out of the way, made it nice and smooth, it took us 30 minutes. We're on it. Listen, subscribe to the channel. We got crazy good stuff happening. And um, matter of fact, we're on the loose right now without the little princess telling us what we got to do. So, uh, peace out, man. It's beer 30. Is it beer 30 yet? Wait a minute. What about the spark plugs? Oh, yeah. Spark plugs. Wait, one more video of spark plugs, then I get a beer 30. All right. Subscribe. Home front hugs. Support them. See ya.